Hi, in this lesson, let's talk about the Boyd's Law. As it is common to all scientists, we make observations. We observe things that happen naturally around us and perform experiments to test if our observation is true. This observation leads us to explain things we see around us, why they happen and how we can apply them to solve our problems. Now, this is exactly why we are learning about Boyd's Law. Robert Boyle, in the 7th century, performed an experiment to test a common behavior of gases. He performed this experiment to see the relationship between the pressure and volume of a gas. Let's see what he did. He used a J-shaped tool. You know what a J-shaped tool looks like, right? Now, you see, he closed the shorter end of the J-shaped tool and opened the other end to the atmosphere. On the open end of the tube, he poured mercury. This mercury trapped the air close to the closed end of the tube and compressed it. Now, Robert Boyle observed that as the mercury moved closer to the closed end of the tube, the greater force exerted on the trapped air by the mercury, and the smaller the volume of the gas. So, Robert Boyle observed that as the pressure on the trapped air increases, the volume of all the gases just decreases. So, Robert Boyle postulated a law that says the pressure exerted on a given amount of gas is inversely proportional to the volume of the gas given at that temperature and it is constant. That is, when the temperature of a gas does not change, an increase in the pressure exerted on the gas leads to a decrease in the volume occupied by the gas. Boyle's law can be expressed mathematically as V equals K over P. By making constant K the subject of the formula, VP equals K. Also, P1 V1 equals P2 V2. This can be used to calculate for either pressure or volume. We test Boyle's law by seeing how decrease in pressure affects the volume. Boyle's law can as well be explained by using the kinetic theory. When you fill a container with air and you put an enclosure that can compress the gas, once you increase the pressure by compressing the gas particles, the volume of the gas will decrease because the molecules of the gas will collide with each other more rapidly. However, if you reduce the pressure, the molecules are further apart. The number of collisions for unit time decreases, resulting in a decrease in pressure. Application of Boyle's Law 1. Spray painting 2. Drawing fluid into a syringe 3. Pump of a bike tire The law fails at high pressure and low temperature. At low temperature and high pressure, the speed of a gas molecules decrease and move closer together. Under this condition, a real gas will liquefy. I hope you enjoyed this class. See you next class. Thank <laughs> you.